beating NASA. China set to become first country to get Martian sample back on Earth, Chinese expert. The space race has been silently intensifying with the geopolitical battle raging on the ground. With the United States having delayed its Mars mission to bring back samples to Earth, China could beat its rival in achieving that milestone. Welcome back to Tech Trends for All. Before we proceed, kindly subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated when we release new videos. Without further delay, let's dive in. China's first Mars mission, Tianwen-1, was launched in July 2020 and consisted of an orbiter, a lander, and a rover carrying a total of 13 pieces of research equipment. In May 2021, it safely landed on the Martian plane Utopia Planitia. Tianwen-1 was dubbed a success by the Chinese government in late 2021. A top space official in China has confirmed that China plans to bring rocks from Mars by 2031, making it the first country ever to get Martian samples to Earth. Meanwhile, the United States has been collaborating with the European Space Agency, ESA, on a more sophisticated mission to return samples from Mars collected by NASA's Perseverance rover. According to Sun Zhezhao, the lead designer of Tianwen-1 and the Chang-3 and chang 4 lunar missions, China's schedule is two years ahead of the planned U.S.-European Mars mission to return samples to Earth. In March, NASA said that it would postpone the next phase of its Mars sample return campaign and split a lander mission into two distinct spacecraft to lower the program's overall risk. Under the revised plan, the ESA's Earth return orbiter would launch in 2027, and the samples would return to Earth in 2033. A NASA-led sample retrieval lander and an ESA-led Earth return orbiter were scheduled to launch in 2026. According to the plan, the lander would have collected Perseverance's samples and loaded them into a rocket called the Mars Ascent Vehicle, MAV, which would have launched them into orbit using an ESA-built rover. The samples were planned to be collected by the orbiter, which would use a NASA-provided collection mechanism, and return to Earth in 2031, with the American-European mission running later than initially planned and China's mission potentially running ahead of its schedule, it could become the first country to bring rocks from Mars back to Earth. How will China ace the Martian race? China had presented a strategy for future human crewed Mars exploration missions in June 2021, which included three steps. Technology preparation, a manned journey to Mars, and a supply fleet between Earth and Mars. In 2028, China plans to send two spacecraft to Mars, one with a lander and ascent vehicle, and the other with an orbiter and re-entry capsule. Sun stated during a speech commemorating Nanjing University's 120th anniversary. After touching down, the lander will drill for samples and collect them. The rocks will then be carried into Mars orbit, and the mission will return to Earth in July 2031. Zizhou's team is currently working on the leading technologies required to complete the challenging endeavor. Compared to Tianwen-1, atmospheric entry will be more complex because the spacecraft's mass and velocity will be substantially higher. It could quickly burn or crash if the parachute fails if it isn't securely insulated. To achieve a velocity increase of 4.5 km per second, 2.8 miles per second, and a minus 60 degrees Celsius, minus 76 Fahrenheit environment, the crew still has to decide whether to employ solid or liquid fuel to launch off from Mars. According to Zezhow, the team also discussed the launch time for the two probes. If both are sent during the November-December 2028 launch window, we'll land into a dust storm, making our job very tough over there, he said. If the lander and ascent vehicle combination was launched a little earlier, say May 2028, it would take much longer to arrive at Mars, but avoid the bad weather. Tianwen-3, China's mission, will consist of two parts, a lander and ascent vehicle, and an orbiter and return module. According to Space News, separate Long March 5 and Long March 3B rockets will launch the two combinations. He first landing on Mars will take place in September 2029. Surface, sampling, drilling, and mobile intelligence sampling, possibly using a four-legged robot, will be used as sampling techniques. The spacecraft will then leave Mars orbit in late October 2030 after rendezvousing and docking with the waiting orbiter and will return to Earth in July 2031. China's Mars sample return mission appears to support the country's highest space and government officials. The country's desire to carry out that historic mission has been on its space plan for a while, 
included in the China National Space Administration's development objectives for 2021 to 2025. With a busy decade ahead for China's space agency, the Martian mission would be another milestone for the country in a realm that the United States has traditionally dominated. What does Tianwen-1 do? Water doesn't currently exist on Mars' surface, but it used to. We know this from dramatic dry canyons and river channels seen from orbit, as well as minerals on the surface that only form in liquid water. Around 3 billion years ago, something happened to Mars' atmosphere, and most of the liquid water evaporated, but some of it may still be underground, safely shielded from harmful solar radiation that bombards the planet's surface. Could those ancient pockets of water contain life? China's Tianwen-1 Mars mission, launched on July 23, 2020 amidst the added challenge of the global COVID-19 pandemic. It will, among other things, search for pockets of water using radar mounted on the Zhurong rover. The European Space Agency's Mars Express spacecraft found evidence for subsurface water using radar from orbit, but along with NASA's Perseverance rover, this will be the first time a rover has searched from the ground. When did Tianwen-1 reach Mars? Tianwen-1 entered Mars orbit on February 10, 2021. As China's first Mars mission, Tianwen-1 is uniquely ambitious. No nation had ever attempted to send an orbiter and rover to Mars on the first try, but China succeeded, making Tianwen-1 a historic victory. Tianwen-1 arrived in Mars orbit as a single spacecraft. Once on Mars, the landing platform extended a ramp, allowing the Zhurong rover to roll gently onto the surface similar to the way China's Chain Moon rovers are deployed. When did the Zhurong rover land on Mars? Zhurong successfully landed on the Red Planet on May 14. The rover touched down on Utopia Planitia, the vast Martian plane where NASA's Viking 2 spacecraft landed in the 1970s and the site of a shipbuilding yard in the Star Trek universe. What capabilities does Zhurong have? Zhurong can communicate directly with Earth or use its Tianwen-1 orbiter for high-speed data relay, the orbiter has its own set of science instruments for studying Mars, including a high-resolution camera that should produce stunning images. Zhurong has cameras, instruments for studying Mars climate and geology, and even an instrument to zap rocks and record the resulting chemical signatures. Just like NASA's Curiosity and Perseverance rovers, the rover radar works by shooting radio waves into the surface and measuring reflection times, allowing scientists on Earth to piece together a 3D map of what lies beneath. China's U-22 rover used radar on the far side of the moon to reveal three distinct layers extending 40 meters beneath the surface. Scientists tested a rover-sized radar in China's Kaidim, based in a cold, desert region like Mars, and were able to detect underground water pockets of water. On Earth, these pockets can host thriving microbial communities so detecting them on Mars would be an important step in our search for life on other worlds. That's all I have for you guys for today. If you liked watching this video, please make sure to click the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell icon so that you may be notified when we upload a new video. Thanks for watching.